This episode of Pause for Thought is brought to you by Randy Wagner of Macintosh Realty. Nobody buys or sells more homes in the tri-state area. Let Randy help you find the perfect home, as he supports the Humane Society's mission to find homes for abandoned pets. Hello and welcome to Pause for Thought. I'm Rachel Harvey-Jones and joining me is the very rowdy, I'm sorry, Catherine Cooker. The rowdy is the dog. Catherine, welcome. Well, uh, thank you very much for having both of us today. <laughs> and I have to say that uh, rowdy is far better behaved than Catherine on most occasions. <laughs> he has got the most gorgeous face and he you does. can kind of see the hound and you can see the Rottweiler in his face. How old is this little one? Well, we think he's little. a year. Little one, yeah. He's, <laughs> he is actually still a baby at a year. He's got a lot of energy, and he's being very good right now, aren't you, Rowdy? Yes, he you are. He is being very good. Um, he just needs some good manners, training, and um, someone that's got some time to spend, just working with him and reassuring him, because he's a happy boy, as you can see his tail is going. He's got lots of energy to use, so if you want to hike or run or just spend some time out, I bet you he'd be a good Frisbee dog. Oh, you Wouldn't think I? so? I think he, he might be. He looks like he could be a frisbee mm -hmm. dog. I think the one thing to remember, and I know that you, you reiterate this, and I've learned so much from you doing this show, is that when you're considering taking a pet into the home, consider the time that you have. Perhaps mm -hmm. you don't have time to, to start a, a, a whole training regime with an animal. And this little one is so excited, but he definitely needs those sort of basic, yes. basic training to start with. Our dream here on Pause for Thought is to walk into the Humane Society on Christmas Day, and it be a Christmas miracle and there'd be no animals there they all have a loving home remember my bumper sticker an animal is for life not just yes. for Christmas um, tell us the process of um, adopting from the Humane Society because I know you make it as simple and as easy as possible well we try to um, you just you can go online and fill out an application there's a drop-down menu and uh, just fill out the application putting in the animal's name and number that you would like or you can come in and meet the animal uh, and fill out an application right at the shelter and we uh, we'll start the checks to make sure that you know that you either own your home and everything's okay uh, with that, or that your landlord is all right with you having an animal in the in the house um, or apartment. And as soon as that's all done, the animal we will schedule the animal for a spay or neuter. Now, Rowdy here has already been neutered, so he's ready to go. So this would be a very quick turnaround, um, and we just you know we're trying to make it as easy and friendly as possible. Um, he'll have. Uh, a free vet visit, he'll have a month of uh, free pet insurance, he'll have a microchip in him in case he gets away because he is strong and he could pull and get away. So uh, he's going to be a lot of fun for someone who's, who's willing to work with a, a he fun certainly boy. Is. Don't forget that we've got a big event coming up at the start of the new year and I hope that uh, Rowdy will be out there with his new family as the polar bear plunge. In fact, let's just take a little look at my first day of polar bear plunge training. It wasn't pretty, take a look. Okay, well, I've got some helpers for my first day of my training for the polar bear plant. I'm pretty excited about this. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Are you sure? Okay, yes. let's do this. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Day one is not too bad. Of course, we're going to leave this here and it's going to get significantly cooler by January 1st. Well, it wasn't pretty, Catherine, but I suspect the warmer will be significant. The water will be significantly <laughs> colder. I hope. Well, maybe it'll be warmer. Maybe we'll have a heat wave in January. Oh yes. Yes, yeah. that would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's take a look <laughs> at the details for Rowdy up there on the screen. Don't forget, we are looking for uh, someone who can maybe spend a little bit of time as sort of the training process. Let's also take a look at the Humane Society's website. Lots of information on there. Also, check out Pet Tango. You can see all the animals that are available. But if you're looking for something larger although um, they don't get much larger than Rowdy here. Uh, if you're looking for something smaller, there is something for everyone at the Humane Society. Remember, check out Facebook, check out the uh, website. They're high there. And um, of course, don't forget, oh, I'm gonna get a cuddle for the end of the show. That's perfect, thank you. Check out those details. We've got another glorious canine coming up pretty soon. Well, we've got Sam with us now. Rowdy's gone out for a nice long walk, and he's certainly uh, certainly a lot of energy. And we've got this uh, the softest coat. Just if only I, I could get my hair this soft, life would be good. I know it's amazing. <laughs> I know it's great. He is glorious. He's. I'm always amazed by uh, really how calm the animals are when we bring them here. Typically, if we're in the garden, if it's a nice day, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of hustle bustle. There's a lot of strange people here. The lights, the cameras. I think it's a really good indication of their character, Catherine. I think it is. I think you're right. They're they're pretty solid. I mean, they're rock solid to be in a new environment and curious but not nervous. Look at you, and even to the point of boredom, where he's. <laughs> yeah. 
Yawning. We'll wake you up. We'll wake you up with a good scratch. <laughs> well, I do have that effect on people, unfortunately. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this boy. Well, Sam is about two years old, and he lived with a family, so he's a good family dog. He's so well socialized. We think he might be a setter pointer mix. Um, but we're not real sure. I don't think they were real sure. Uh, yes, can you tell us? Um, <laughs> but he is a very nice dog, and I think he's going to be a wonderful companion for a family. Um, he looks like he's got nice long legs, so he probably would like to go running or nice long walks. I mean, just a fun family member. Just now, if you were considering taking Sam home and you had children, what sort of age group would you consider him to be sort of the best around? Well, probably not toddlers because he's large. You know, he's, a, he's a big boy and he could knock them over. Um, but what you could do is when, when you come in, our adoption counselors can work with you and say, okay, let's, let's look at what you've got here and, and will this dog match with your lifestyle and, and the needs of your family members? So they will, they'll work with you on it. Don't forget that um, there is a huge event coming up on January 1st, and I am just so excited about it. Uh, I'm shivering at the thought. It's the Polar Bear Plunge. It's, uh, is it your biggest fundraiser? Yes, it is. Last year, there were three, I get these numbers wrong, 3,000 spectators and 400 people yes. getting very cold. It was wonderful, <laughs> though. It was, they were freezing for a reason, as we say. Oh, so. I like that. Yeah. Freezing for a reason. You have to say that with an American accent, <laughs> yes, otherwise do. it doesn't work. Mm. And I'll be freezing for a reason. I'm going to put my details up on the screen. Make a donation. No donation is too small. Um, I thank everyone that's donated through my Facebook page and the Herald Mail Facebook page. Um, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful event. What a great way to start the new year, helping others. Let's take a look at the details for Sam up on the screen there. I don't know, what, what have you spotted? A Christmas decoration over there. Don't forget, check out the website of the Humane Society. Um, we're running out of time, Catherine. These shows go quicker and quicker, but very briefly, tell us all the animals. How are they delivered to their new owners? Well, Santa won't, but we will. We will be <gasps> Santa's busy. helpers. Too he busy. is too busy. We will be Santa's helpers. So come on in. You can meet the animals, put an application on an animal and um, just see if you fall in love like I think we've just uh -oh. seen happen here. Uh -oh. I think he's fallen in love with Am you. Am I going to get a big Christmas kiss from you? Oh no. A sneeze, a sneeze instead. <laughs> a sneeze instead. Thank Christmas you for that. Sneeze. That's great. Check out the details. Please go to the Humane Society's website. Uh, we only have a limited time here to show you these wonderful animals but there are lots more looking for homes. In fact, no tarantulas this week. No tarantulas this week. Shh, I was going to snap that up. There's also other animals there that are looking for a home. Thanks for joining us here on Pause for Thought. Don't forget to check out the website and please, even if you don't want to get cold come out to uh to williamsport on january the first thanks for joining us catherine a pleasure as always thank you so much for having us can i have a kiss now can i have a kiss